Applications of quadratic equations. The gas mileage for a certain vehicle can be approximated by m equals negative 0.04x squared plus 3.6x minus 49, where x is the speed of the vehicle in miles per hour. Determine the speed or speeds at which the car gets 30 miles per gallon, round to the nearest mile per hour. Well, x in this particular equation is the speed of the vehicle is in mile per hour. The m refers to the gas mileage, which would be that 30 mpg. So I need to substitute 30 in for m. Because remember, this is applications of quadratic equations. So in order for me to solve a quadratic equation, I have to get all terms over to one side. So since all I need to do is move the 30 over, I think I'll do that by subtracting. Now I'm not even going to try and factor that. It looks rather semi-nasty, so I'm going to go for the quadratic formula. So this would be my A, my B, and my C. So X equals negative B plus or minus square root of B squared minus 4 times A times C all over 2 times A. So I need to do a little bit of cleanup. Let's see, I have a negative 3.6 plus or minus something over that times that would be a negative 0.08. So let me bring in my calculator. Yeah, I can still see that. So 3.6 squared minus 4 times negative 0.04 times negative 79. So in under my radicals, 0.32. So that tells me I'm going to have two rational solutions. And if remember what I do in class, this is going to be my upper route and this will be my minus route. So I'm going to, because this is a binomial, use parentheses, negative 3.6 plus square root. So I have to do a second x squared, 0.32, get out from under the radical in my parentheses, divide by negative 0.08. So go on the plus route, and it says round to the nearest miles per hour. So that would be 38. Now, don't type this all back in. Do a second enter. It repeats it. Go cursor back in, change that to a minus, because that's the only difference in this formula. You don't have to cursor out. Just press enter. So that looks like that's going to be a 52. So you can store these and see if it works. It'll be off a little bit because I did... Um, round. So let me pull my equation back down. Let me type in 38, store in for x, and type in my original negative 0.04 x squared plus 3.6 x minus 49. And we should come around 30. Yep, that's pretty close. I'd say 52 is the same way. So to answer this question, The gas mileage will be 30 miles per gallon for speeds of 38 miles per hour and 52 miles per hour. So that finishes that question. Now, leptin is a hormone 
that has a central role in fat metabolism. One study published in the New England Journal of Medicine measured serum lipton concentrations versus the percentage of body fat for 275 individuals. The concentration of leptin, which is C, in, I don't know if that's nanograms per milliliter, I might have to look that up, is approximated by this equation where X is the percentage of body fat. So in the first one, it wants us to determine the concentration of leptin in an individual with 22% body fat. Now remember the X here is percentage, but it will need to be in decimal. We never put percent in. Round to one decimal place. So concentration of leptin, which is what the C is. So C would be 219.22 squared minus 26.7 so I like to store it in instead of pressing it in because this way all I have to do is type in the original equation so 219 x squared minus 26.7 x plus 1.64. So 6.36 they say it to round to one decimal place so that would be my concentration here would be 6.4 and that's whatever NG is over milliliters. So that wasn't too bad. Let's see what the next one is. If an individual has 3 NG per uh, milliliter of leptin determine the percentage of body fat so for us to determine the percentage of body fat that is X so we have to find that they're given a C round to the nearest whole percent I'll worry about that here in a minute so I'm going to have 3 is equal to 2 19 X squared minus 6.7 X plus 1.64 Again, like earlier with the gas mileage, I need to get all values to one side. So if I only have to move one, I'll move it to the other side. So I've got 219x squared minus 26.7x minus 1.36. And like before, that does not look like it's appetizing at all to go and factor. So I'm going to use quadratic formula. So, let's get x is equal to negative b. If b is negative, I always put it in parentheses because this is going to change the sign. You've got to be very, very careful. Plus or minus square root. Again, if b is negative, use parentheses. Minus 4 times a times negative 1.36 all over 2 times 219. So let me clean this up a bit. See that would give me what 438? Let's go see what this number is. So in parentheses negative 26.7 squared minus 4 times 219 times negative 1.36 so and under that 1904.25 1904.25 so let me go with the plus route minus route see what we come up with Whoops, hit my camera. Eh, let's clear this off. Because the numerator is a binomial, I need parentheses. So 26.7 plus second square root 1904.25 divide by 438. 
and it says to round to the nearest whole percent. So if I have to change that to percent, it would be 16. So I go 16 percent. So let me do second enter. Go back in, change that sign. That doesn't make any sense. So this one I'm not even going to worry about. I don't know what a negative... Uh, 4% body fat would be. I, I don't think that's possible. So, not possible. So, if an individual ha has that 3 in grams per milliliter of leptin, determine the percentage of body fat. The percentage of body fat would be 16%. And that's it for this video.